Hi everybody. I am outdoors today. Some solar panels here behind me. And uh, my daughters and I went out today and we found a great little Asian market where we were able to find some of our favorite Thai tea. If you've never had Thai tea before, it is so good. Um, super delicious, hot or cold. I like my Thai tea over ice. So I got a new pin recently and my daughter, my middle daughter was helping me unbox it. And when we unboxed it, she said, oh, that looks just like milk tea. And I was like, oh my gosh, it does. Very, very interesting. And so as I've been using this pen um, for the past almost two weeks, as I've been using this pen, I kept thinking that when I did this pen review, I wanted to go into town and I wanted to introduce you to Thai milk tea <laughs> and my pen. Yeah, those are my, my two accomplices in crime today. So, you may see them running back and forth again. I don't know. I That wasn't planned. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's talk about a pen. First. Mm. It's so creamy and good and yummy. And it looks like this pet. This is the Esterbrook Camden in Oktoberfest. <laughs> You're gonna wear yourselves out. <laughs> Esterbrook Camden in Oktoberfest. Is that not so stinking beautiful? And it's such a happy, happy color combination and what got Eileen, my daughter who was helping me film was that she said that it looked like Thai milk tea over ice can you see well it's a little it's not as bright right now though because i milk i mixed mine in with um milk and the ice already melted it's hot outside but look how beautiful that is got just like hints of deep like a like an um like a an auburn reddish brown with this really beautiful orange here and then the white and gray areas and my section is like a little bit like brown a little bit brown so So when I first got this pen, or when I first decided that I wanted this pen was when I was still working at Anamoya. And uh, the owner, the shop owner had, um, we were doing Fountain Pen Fridays and I happened to do a post um, about Esterbrooks, uh, um, advertising our Esterbrooks that we had in the shop and talking about Fountain Pen Friday. And the representative for Esterbrook reached out to the owner. It's like, oh, I didn't realize you were doing this. And we really liked that post. So let, you know, we wanted to send you some goodies for Fountain Pen Friday. And we were like, yes, this is amazing. So Esterbrook sent us some really great little goodies to, to give out on Fountain Pen Friday. And one of the things they sent us were these little circular, you put a drink on top of it. Why am I blanking right now? Oh, a coaster. Or this this little coaster that had pictures of the Esterbrook Oktoberfest and it had a very like Oktoberfest autumnal kind of designs on it. And I fell in love with the pen immediately. And I knew that I was gonna need to have that pen. So several months later, I 
sold some of my pens so that I could purchase the swim. And I've been writing with it nonstop since it arrived. And it's different from the Estes. It feels different. Oh, it's different in length and width. And it feels different to write with, but it's a good kind of different. And I like it. I like the Camden. Um, and I really just really, really, really love how happy and beautiful this pin is. It is literally looks just like Thai milk tea over ice. So this is no longer the Esterbrook Oktoberfest. This is the Esterbrook Thai milk tea. If you are a representative of Esterbrook and you're watching this video, I have just renamed this pin for you. You are welcome. I got it with the, uh, the gold trim and the gold plated nib in a medium and it's just, it's just so smooth and such a joy to write with. Um, I already have two Estes and I love my Estes, but this one holds another place in my heart as well. Just, it's just, I have a small pen collection and this is one of the most beautiful pens that I have. It makes me happy every time I pick it up, every time I write with it. Um, the first ink that I put in it was actually a blend that I concocted of Mont Blanc Toffee Brown and Ferris Wheel Press Buttered Popcorn. And because when looking at the pictures, I thought maybe there would be sections where it would be a little bit more brown. And so I wanted like a honey color. Well, when the pen got here, I realized the only honey color was like right here. So I wrote, I filled it up, the, filled it up. I filled up the converter with the honey color that I mixed and I used it up. And then I filled it up, I made another mixture. I used ancient copper and buttered popcorn to make an orange color. And I thought if I really like writing with this orange, maybe I would invest in another uh, orangey color of ink that might pair well with this. So I did really enjoy writing with that orange that I mixed up, but I'm not going to uh, mix up any more oranges because I don't even know how I mixed it up. I was just like add a little bit of that there, squeeze, that there, squeeze, and I just filled up the converter. So today, my little tiny bottle of Pilot Iro Suzuku Fuyugaki arrived. I think that these are going to be a fantastic matchy matchy combination. So I am going to take this video inside and we are gonna do a writing sample and I am going to gush over this pen some more. I mean, I had to come outside because the lighting outside is so wonderful. This pen just like, inside light just does not do this pen justice right now just it needs the brightness of the sunshine it needs to sit out here on this little wrought iron table next to this thai tea and you know what i'm probably not even going to go right back inside to do the rest of this video yet i'm probably going to sit here and journal for a little while i think that's what i will do yeah <laughs> It's all gone now. Time to go inside. No journaling can be had today. There are ruffians about. So we are back inside now with this beautiful Esterbrook Oktoberfest. And Eileen, what are some of your closing thoughts on this pen? It looks like milk tea. <laughs> it does. It says, it also looks the prettiest pen you have. It is the prettiest pen I have. You said it looks like the different layers of milk tea mm -hmm. over ice. Yep. Yeah, it does. It's really, really beautiful. I love how it has little areas like where it kind of shimmers. Almost like, I don't think there's any gold flecking 
in here flecking. I don't think there are any gold flecks or anything like that. But as you turn it, what? Yeah, I don't think there's any gold flecks flakes. But as you turn it, some of them just like pop out, and they're just so beautiful and golden and sparkly. It really is absolutely stunning. Very very beautiful. So right now, I currently have this inked with uh, Fuyugaki from Iroshizuku, which I just got. Um, I finished my fill of the honey ink that I mixed and of the orange ink that I mixed. So now I've got the Fuyugaki in here and I'm gonna give you a little writing sample. So I just wanted to kind of show you real quick. I'm currently in my Wonderland two, B6 Wonderland 222 with Tomo River paper. And this is what the original ink that I mixed up honey looked like. So that was really nice and I wrote that dry. And then this was what the orange ink that I mixed up, which was a combination of ancient copper and buttered popcorn looked like. And now we will write with Fuyugaki. Can you hear the clocks? It is when we're given choice that we sit with the gods and design ourselves. Dorothy Gilman. This is the Estabrook Camden in Oktoberfest with a medium nib with Pilot Oroshizuku Fuyugaki. Thank you guys so much for watching this very long, kind of all over the place video about this fantastic pen. Um, it is a joy to have. I'm so glad to have it. I'm so glad they, they made it. This is just, this pen is just right up my alley. It's just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this little video on it. And um, maybe it will encourage you to get one of these bad boys and put it in your own pen and ink collection. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.